friends, this is Dr. Sangeetha and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and this video we are going to talk about the disorders of the tongue. So without further ado, let's get started. And welcome back to our 5 in 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes. And today's video we are going to talk about the fissured or the scrotal tongue. This is not a disease or something. It is just the developmental anomaly. So before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our interesting video. So talking about the fissured or the scrotal tongue. So basically... As the name suggests, always the first point is as the name suggests. My word start, my sentence start as the name suggests. You have to take it from the word. So fissured tongue, that means there are going to be fissures present in the tongue. So these tongue, the tongue in case of fissured tongue basically, it is a kind of a developmental malformation. It can be the genetic, it can be due to vitamin deficiency, trauma but main etiology is unknown. We don't know what causes the fissured tongue or scrotal tongue except the Melkulser Rosenthal syndrome that we will also cover. So coming to F for fissures, fissure, fissure. So there are going to be fissures present in the tongue. That means grooves will present in the tongue. So they actually the tongue will have little bit cuts if you have seen. So the fissures will be present. Now fissure can be the deep fissure, can be shallow fissure and they are usually present on the dorsal as well as on the lateral aspect of the tongue. So both will be present. What happens? These fissures or grooves, they actually radiate from the central groove. So they just radiate, come out from the central groove and they go reach up to the dorsal, dorsal surface of the tongue in oblique direction. Now these fissures, they can be deep and sometimes actually they are connected to each other and they separate the dorsum of the tongue into multiple lobules. So what happens when they are so deep that they separate the tongue into lobules or something and the depth can up to be 6 millimeters. Now these actually there is no as such predilection for sex but it is usually seen in the males and uh, there are no clinical symptoms associated with it there is no pain actually they are usually painless but because of the fissures which is present right because of the grooves that is present food can come and accumulate into it and after that there can be growth of microorganism in the fissures so sometimes because of the growth of microorganisms it can lead to discomfort to the patient so what happens there is loss of filiform papilla and we all know that most of the papilla are our filiform papilla. So fungiform papilla which are the red color ones are present but the white color one the majority of the filiform papilla are missing. These are the keratinized that is why white color right thread like. Uh, on the other hand the fungiform papilla they are present in case these are red uh, you can see the taste buds are mushroom like so these are actually present the filiform papilla are lost which are majority of the papillas right so when we look at the histological cross section histologic pathologic view now what happens first of all there is loss of filiform papilla from the surface of mucosa right second thing is that there is a microabscess formation which is present within the epithelium which is seen. There is hyperplasia of the red apex. That means red apex increased in number. There is increase in the thickness of the lamina propria. As well as in the connective tissue we can see the inflammatory cell infiltration. So a lot of inflammatory cells we can see in the connective tissue matrix. So the most common and important point is that it is usually associated with the Melkerson rosenthal syndrome. Now what is this syndrome? I have made a face. So remember this that Melkerson rosenthal syndrome is a syndrome which is associated with a facial paralysis. As you can see I have uh, made the face of a person like this. So basically what happens there is a facial pa uh, paralysis and there is a swelling of lip. Usually the swelling of upper lip is seen. So as you can see the upper lip are I have made thick upper lips and there is colitis granulomatosis and along with that the grooves are seen which are present in the tongue. So this is Meckelson-Rosalthan syndrome. So this is 
wherein there is a facial paralysis there is colitis granulomatosis which i, I will cover everything eventually and there is a swelling of upper lip so remember the fissure tongue or other name is the scrotal tongue is is associated with the melkerson rosenthal syndrome so fissure tongue which has fissures in the tongue nothing else fissures in the tongue dorsal and lateral surfaces so that is associated with the melkerson rosenthal syndrome so guys that's um, there is no treatment which is required for the fissure tongue except you just i need to as a patient to do brushing and all to keep the tongue clean so that there is no microorganism growth in the tongue so that is about the fissure or the scrotal tongue so if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and there is a link in the description below to support me on paytm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then keep reading keep learning take care i will see you soon in the next video